Isn't you want that me true? to open up on the podcast right now? I do. I love it. I think masturbating is better. What? Natalie, would you agree? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Got you in a corner there. <laughs> <laughs> I think masturbating is better. That's just me. You think? I mean, no pun intended. It is. <laughs> Most of the time, it is just me. It is just you. Um, I just think, I think one, you know what you want the most. And sure. I know there's going to be people that are going to be like, are going to be sitting listening to this and be like, well, you've never had good sex. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. I just think, I just think it's so convenient. You can do it wherever you want. Well, almost wherever you want. <laughs> and you can do it whenever you want. And right. like one part of your body helps out the other. It, it's almost kind of magical. If there was any. Did you get bummed out when you masturbate? No. I get so bummed out. Why? Someone told me this I'm the other like, day. Oh, this again. Why? What a loser. No, I think it's so great. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. It doesn't and make me feel good at all. I think it's, someone told me this the other day. There's a thing called PNC. Yeah. It's post nut clarity. Okay. And I think it, I think genuinely masturbating, I think it clears your mind so much. Like it's such a good way to start a day. Uh, and end a day. I, and finish up lunch. Can I butt in? And, I, think I, I think I could break this <laughs> and drive, down. And drive to Wendy's. I think I could break this down and see why you are feeling guilty after and why he feels great. This is Jeff. Now, I think David is going off of memory from all the beautiful women he's bedded. <laughs> and you are going off of some guilty, shameful porn that you look at. And afterwards, you're like, damn, I just got off to this stuff. David looks at porn, too. No, I don't. No, he goes for memory. He memory. goes in the shower. No, I don't. And there's no iPhones or anything and no technology. No, I have waterproof. waterproof. Do you like masturbating more or sex? Sex. For sure? Okay, yeah. how about this? How about this? If you could have sex with one person for the rest of your life or masturbate every day to whatever you want. To whatever... Masturbate. Okay. That's what I thought. Natalie, sex or yourself? I'd rather have sex. Every day? If I had to, you have to have sex every day or masturbate every day? With the yeah. same person, though, Natalie. I don't think Natalie thinks having sex with the same person is a bad thing. No, I'm not. Who's saying, the person? No, I'm not saying she wants to like have sex with a, a <laughs> bunch of other people. I'm just saying that it's like, it's that same person. Like, they can't mix it up as much as you can yourself. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I feel like there's a lot more ways for you to mix it up with somebody else than there is to mix it up with just yourself. Not if that person's super vanilla. Yeah, don't be with somebody that's vanilla. Not if you have a, a really strong rope in your closet. Have you ever had sex with a person and imagined you were with someone else? Ooh. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I've done that. Well, you've been married for 47 years. Of course you have, Jason. I was asking Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get bummed out when I masturbate. It's just kind of like... Because uh, you feel dirty? Yeah, but if I had sex with somebody, I feel great. I oh. feel like, wow, like I could be really depressed. And if I had sex with somebody, I'd be like, hey, things aren't so bad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Which is probably fucked up. I that, agree with you. That sounds like a serious midlife crisis. No, I've always felt that way. Really? I hate when you mix things in of me being old. Like, you're like, <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, like Jason, you're so, you're so old and such a loser. Like, no, I've always been a loser. Jason, Jason. <laughs> but is... I, this probably fucked up. You're right. I probably value it too much. Like, I get too much. My ego is wrapped up in it. Like, but after if I had sex with somebody, I'm like, hey, all right, world still got good. it. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah. Always I, that way. I feel like that after I masturbate. <laughs> you do? Yeah. I'm Jason Nash, and <laughs> yeah, I just had sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Do you guys feel like you could have sex with the same person for the rest of your life? That, I think, is a different thing. Like, it's I don't a know. Diff it's a different pretty... question. I feel like I'm not old enough to know the answer to that. Interesting. I feel like I haven't been in a relationship long enough where I could be like, I can't do this anymore. I remember when I was getting married, I was like, this is it. This is really just the same person for the rest of my life. That That is a crazy That thought. was really daunting. Yeah, and there was no like wiggle room around it either. There was no like. Yeah, there's like. Yeah, you know, maybe. Well, on Saturdays I can go yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no like, girls. maybe a ten years, you know, an orgy or something. Or she was like, nope. You asked her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you asked your wife. Sure. You I'm, were... like, I'm like, so we're gonna just do this for the rest of our life, just us. She's like, uh huh. Wait, really? That's what marriage is. And she was okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> you think it'd be the other way? She wasn't that into sex. Well. <laughs> she Look what she had to do it with. <laughs> she, she didn't have the, the best hand. Well, hey, listen, I get it. I'm no Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> That's like the scariest thing is like because like now she has a boyfriend. Sure. And just like I could just imagine you sitting on the couch with him having a conversation and him just going, "Yo, yeah. this woman, she loves sex. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like she just can't get enough of it." Not my experience, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's a really scary thought. Just that. Her new, her new boyfriend just <laughs> is having a lot of sex with her. <laughs>
I've always wondered what you two do during sex since you're such silly goofballs and you're just joking around all the time. Are you just are you just slinging jokes too while you're having sex, Jason? Yeah, I have a rubber chicken that I bring out. <laughs> Do you make jokes when you're having sex or being yeah, intimate? Yeah, yeah. I call the police. No, I don't make jokes. I, I, I'm quite quite serious when I have sex, David. I mean, you know, you saw my videos that I showed you. <laughs> you do impressions. <laughs> this is this is my David Blaine having sex with you impression. No, I, I people the people that I've have had sex with, I think they they actually go like, oh wow, you're like really into sex. You're not like jokey at all. That's been that's been my feedback. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like, oh wow, I thought this was gonna be fine. But it was, <laughs> this got this got really serious, and I don't I don't like it anymore. Well, I mean, prostitutes are paid to be there, so <laughs> why is prostitution illegal? Like, if it's done properly, like, what is the what's the problem with selling your body for sex? Like, it's the oldest profession known to man. It just became yeah. illegal recently. But for what reason? Why is it like if that's your body, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it, right? Isn't that how it works? Because yeah. people get and hurt. People that it's a crime, and then people are alone with somebody soliciting something. They can't um, tax it, and people get beat up and murdered and raped. Well, I feel like that's why that's why you make it safer. If you want to be a prostitute, you can make it like so there's security there. Who you're having sex with? It's like a nice yeah. hotel. There's a button to hit in case of an emergency. But I think like, a big portion is that it's like cash. It's not taxable too, right? But if it was something, if David, it, maybe it, you should take this to Shark Tank. If it was. If... <laughs> yeah, but imagine. My name is David Dobrik and I'm seeking $700,000 for my business, Great Pussy. <laughs> yeah, but imagine if it is taxable, right? Then a girl that's getting paid a hundred bucks to go have sex with somebody. I'm not even now. talking about girls. I'm talking about guys too. Guy, sure. Okay, sure. girls and guys. Whoever, whoever's going to have sex with somebody, now you're getting 30% of that is going to the government. But you did 100% of the fucking. So it's like, that's just like, yeah, but that's what we do 100%. You do 100% of your work. Yeah, you do 100% of your work and the government government still takes your money. That's with any job. That totally makes sense. Yeah, but it's not like my, it's not like me giving my body away. It's like giving my my brain and my time. To you, it's giving your body away. But to other people, it's just like, it's it's sex. And why is porn legal if prostitution isn't? Yeah. Yeah. So if I go, if I go and pay a prostitute, if I tell her I'm filming it, then it's okay. Yeah. Uh, if you could watch any of your friends have sex, who would you pick? Um, shit. I have to pick a girl, right? Too. I mean, whatever you <laughs> want to afford your boat, bud. <laughs> whatever you want to watch. I mean, I would love. It's your choice. It's your night. <laughs> okay, it's my night. Yeah, sure. I would take Zane. Yeah. And Todd. Zane and Heath. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why, but these so funny. Their sex must be wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like imagine like sure. Zane hammered and Heath a little bit tipsy. Yeah. It'd be like crazy it'd be crazy because the way that those guys move their bodies is unlike anything else <laughs> and i would do it just for the art i wouldn't watch it i can get off to it i would just literally just enjoy it sure